I'm Barry Warner. I'm from Berlin, Pennsylvania. Uh, I went to Berlin Brothers Valley High School. I um, had befriended a kid at school. He was the same age as me. And I was really worried about him because he was doing horrible in school. He was really smart, but wasn't applying himself at all. One day in one of our math classes, he said to a small group of us whenever we were working on a project that he had this awesome dream where it was like he was a cat with nine lives and he just kept killing himself over and over again to see which was the best way to die. And I'm like, holy shit, this guy needs help. So I passed him a note in the hall that basically said, you know, I care about you a lot. I think you're a great guy. I think that you're starting to see that you, you have a lot to offer the world and the world has a lot to offer to you and you know I'm really worried that you're going to try to kill yourself. So he read the letter and I think it had some sort of impact and um, he threw it away and some girl um, in the study hall saw it, picked it out of the trash, started spreading it all over to everybody. A bunch of the high school seniors, I was a junior at the time, um, were trying to talk him and get him amped up that you know he had to really show us that, you know, that I was sort of barking at the wrong tree, I guess. He came over, then next day, lunch period, slapped the glasses off my face and said, you know, come on, you know, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to, we need to fight, we need to, you know, get this over with, come on, just punch me. And, and I said, no, I'm not going to fight you because that's stupid and this isn't you, this is a bunch of other crap and um, there's no reason for us to do this. The bell rang, lunch period was over. I was trying to make my way um, out from lunch to my next class and I decided I wasn't gonna run because that's what everybody wanted. I was just gonna go at a pace. I had somebody that I was walking next to and they were like tugging on me. I'm like, no, I'm just walking. And he came out of nowhere and pushed me, knocked me to the ground and said, you know, come on, come on you faggot, come on. And I said, no, I'm not fighting you, this is stupid. So if you want to hit me, fine, but I'm not going to hit you. And um, he proceeded to uh, go ahead and, and punch me right here. And my head went sailing into the uh, concrete block wall and I was unconscious like that. I think it was mostly, you know, people just saying, okay, I think there was this whole thing of, if you don't do this, then you're saying it's okay for this gay guy to have feelings for you, whatever they may be. And I don't think back home. I don't think a lot of places even nowadays people can differentiate between a guy caring about another guy and if you're, you're, there's a gay guy in there then there has to be sex involved. Um, it can't be just two guys being friends and especially when you're a teenager because you know everybody's worried about you know what's this gonna mean about what people think of me and I think that's why he did it. You know this was a great way for him to uh, show that that he could put up or shut up. 